Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Futuristic Friday. I hope you're all well and happy and safe. Uh, welcome to the year 2120. Let's go back in time and check with my great grandfather back in 2020 to see if he made a video for us. Load the screen. Hey, great grandpa. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right. Uh, did you make the video for me? Yep. Perfect. All right, can you please upload the video? Sure, here it comes. All right, okay. Bye. See ya. Okay, let's see what great grandpa has made for us. Computer, play the video. All right. Looks like we're underneath the bridge. Right by a river. Okay, let's, hopefully we'll find some interesting stuff here. All right. So, uh, he's walking along. Looks like there's a lot of rock there. Oh, wait a minute. This rock looks interesting. It's in some sort of a cage. Hmm. Computer, pause. Computer, please identify what is this. Okay. Computer says that this is what is called a gabion wall. So a gabion wall is uh, used for stabilization of banks, coasts, highways. Uh, and is used for erosion control on slopes. So we learned what erosion was on our last video, coastal erosion. Uh, this is more for uh, erosion around bridges to help to combat uh, the land from coming out from underneath the bridge. So that's really good, so that's really good. Okay, so computer resume video. Okay, moving along. This gabion wall does not look very big. But look, there's a bunch of rock behind the gabion wall. I wonder if that has a name as well. So let's check it out. Uh, computer freeze. Perfect, okay. So computer please identify this. Alright, so computer says that this is what is called a rip wrap. So uh, a rip wrap is uh looks like it is packed rock uh material or other material used to armor shorelines uh bridge abutments uh, whatever an abutment is uh or shoreline against erosion okay so that's for erosion control too perfect all right computer please resume the video Moving along here. So, so far we got a uh, gabion wall and a rip wrap, both of them uh, to combat erosion. So, that's very interesting. It ties in with our first video of erosion. That's good. So, moving around, moving around. Camera's moving. Oh, let's see. Computer, pause. Uh, computer, identify what this is. Okay, computer said that this is a dirt road. So it's not like any other road. I thought that it looked different. That's why I wanted to stop on it. Uh, a dirt road is a road of packed earth or gravel. Uh, so basically it's not paved. Okay. So it's either earth or gravel. This one looks like earth. Because I know what gravel looks like. Okay. Computer, please resume the video. All right. Looks like a cloudy day. Uh, but it looks like a very nice area to be around. I think those people that are parked over there are probably out for a walk. Okay, so moving along. Oh, that looks interesting. Uh, computer, please pause the video. Computer, what is this? So computer says that this is called a column. So it's used under bridges. Um, a column is a rigid frame commonly made of reinforced concrete or steel that supports a vertical load. Okay, so it's there to support the load of the bridge. Okay, perfect. I wonder what that top piece is. I wonder if we'll find out later. Okay, uh, computer, please resume the video. All right, so we're moving along here. Yeah, we're getting a really good look at that column. That's good. All right, let's, oh, oh computer, I'd say pause the video. Okay, so, computer, uh, please identify. Okay, so the computer says that is called an, an abutment. 
abutment. Uh, an abutment connects the deck or the surface of a bridge uh, to the ground to help support its weight. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good to know. Uh, okay. Computer, please resume the video. An abutment. Uh, we found out what an abutment was. Or an abutment. Depending on how you pronounce it. Okay. Computer, pause. All right. Computer, what is this? Please identify. Okay, the computer says that that is called an I-beam. So why is it called an I-beam? Uh, okay, so an I-beam is a girder which has the shape of an I. Hmm. Okay, computer, please resume the video. All right, hold on. Yeah, there's, there's a few cars parked over there. I see my grand grandfather's car parked there. Hmm. looks like a very wide open nature area we're so overpopulated in the future that we don't have places like this anymore hmm we're not finding anything else of interest uh, hmm the river looks a little high probably because of uh, a little some flooding um, but moving on there's the column again but we still don't know what that thing is on top. So I think we, I think it's time to find out. Computer pause. Okay, computer. Please identify what that is on the screen. Okay. Computer says that that is called a column cap. So a column cap is a widening, widening of the top of a column to provide additional surface. Okay, so that's very interesting. All right, computer, resume video. All right, okay, good. The, uh, the camera is flying around upside down now. Oh, okay. So that looks like it's the end of the video. I hope you learned some new vocabulary. I know I did. Um, so if you did learn some new vocabulary, please comment down below and let me know. I'd be really interested to know if you uh, uh, learned anything from Bridges. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that like button. And of course, smash that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel by smashing my face. That face, not this face. Show some love down in the comment section too, if you feel like it. Thanks guys. Peace.